Hey there, what's up? My name, how you doing? Uh, what's up everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. I don't really know what that was. I'm a bit of a caffeine rush if I do say so myself, but a huge debate out there over the past couple of weeks has been hinted at over on the Fortnite Reddit alongside other sources as well. And uh, I think it's about time we talk about this because it could be the first time in esports slash gaming history we see a partnership, that being a deal between two companies, one of them being the gaming company, the other being the product company, and apparently it influences what actually goes on inside the game. This is pretty crazy when you do think about this being the first time this ever could happen, and to all of my knowledge, it actually is. That being Epic Games or Fortnite partnering with Nerf and their guns. Now, of course, you guys can probably guess the what this partnership is. It's them paying Fortnite to then, of course, release their real-life guns they use in-game as Nerf guns, and they did so as actually announced back in October of 2018. has been going on ever since, and uh, along with that, there's other sources out there, other hints, uh, like this tweet on screen for all of you guys, and if you look and actually search on Google Fortnite Nerf, you will see a lot of other weapons out there, which I'm not really sure are actually a part of the original partnership. Now, I'm going to go to their website as well and show you guys the three main weapons, along with two weapons that actually do not exist inside Fortnite. It was the Silence USP, the SCAR, the TAC Shotgun, and then, like I said before, two other pistols that do not exist in the game of Fortnite. That was when the partnership was announced, and ever since then, 35 weeks later, neither of those three weapons have been vaulted. Suspicious or ironic, or coincident, at all th three? And it makes perfect sense, right? I am not trying to blame Epic Games here. The, the forums, of course, blow up, and I, I will say, though, this could be problematic in the future if it does influence the meta in a negative way, but I must say, in my own opinion, you guys, of course, uh, can leave yours down below as well. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge opposer of any of these weapons, right? The USP, not really going to be a huge factor in the game. I think it's actually fairly good early game if you can hit your headshots. The TAC shotgun, I'm actually a huge fan of, especially ever since the buff. I never really had a problem with it before. Um, either, uh, but again, that's my opinion, and the SCAR is a very well-balanced late-game AR, so I've never had a real, real problem with any of these weapons, uh, but you guys, of course, could have very independence on that, but with that being said, if this is the influence of a partnership, if that's because Nerf pays you, which again would make perfect sense, right? They are paying you to produce the games you use in-game into real-life Nerf weapons. Who would want to have that kind of partnership business-wise if those weapons aren't even in the active game any longer? So it makes 100% sense if this were to be true. No response from Epic Games so far, so take uh, take it with a grain of salt, I should say. Don't take everyone's word for it on this, but with this partnership influencing exactly what weapons are used in game, that, that's actually pretty crazy because, to my knowledge, it's the first time in the history of gaming this has actually been done between a partnership. A partnership actually controlling what weapons are used inside of a video game, and that, to me, is nuts. So, first of all, congrats to Epic for actually monetizing every single bit of the game possible down to this it's pretty remarkable. And again, Nerf has partnered with things like Overwatch, but Overwatch has a fixed a fixed weapon list for each of their characters. So it's not going to influence anything to this degree. And if that actually was a clause in the partnership, I got to give credit where credit is due. Monetizing every aspect of your game in this kind of uh, just a spectacular way, it's genius, especially when no one really notices un until now. My only problem comes from the fact, well, I guess they're not going to be very transparent about that because if they were, it would have been uproar right away when the partnership was announced. But if it does come down to controversial weapons, like the weapons people think that actually are made by Nerf, but I cannot confirm to you. Currently on the Nerf store, there is no RPG, there is no Deagle, although it could have been uh, in the past, so they could have taken that stuff down. So when it comes to overpowered weapons or ridiculous weapons, and all of a sudden those two are staying in the game, mainly like the RPG, and let's say they had made a grenade launcher, or a quad launcher, I should say, as a more uh, weapon that people really do not like, what if they all of a sudden left those in the game because they are being produced by Nerf as real-life weapons? That is where the problem does lie in the future, but then again, maybe Epic did find, see this coming, and that's why they chose very, very neutral weapons, that being the USP, the TAC, and the SCAR. Things that people aren't going to complain about, whether they're left in the game or really taken out, they'll probably complain more, to be honest. So overall question, what do you think about this? Is it scummy? Is it smart? Would you do it as a game developer yourself? Have they perfected this method as well? And will we see other game developers follow suit in changing their meta, changing their weapon list, so that an IRL producer can actually bring produce the weapons that are in their game outside of the game and they get paid for it. As always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy breaking down esports news all day long. I'll be back here sometime soon this week as well. Currently, as of me recording this, or I should say you guys watching this, I'm serving jury duty. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. I told them I was a YouTuber and they still sent me down there. So hopefully I will be back sometime soon. Hope you guys all enjoy. Until next time, see you soon.